This review is brought to you by Lunar Toy Store. Lunar Toy Store. Time to look at the bright side of the moon. Greetings and salutations everyone. I am as always Darth Devious and I'm happy to bring you a special review today. And this review as you saw in the opening is brought to you by Lunar Toy Store. <clears throat> And there they lent to me these brand new fan style PH0102 and 03, which are, as you can see, hands for these guys. Prowl already has his hands on, which we'll use him to display what, what can be done. Blue Streak does not have his hands on yet. I'm leaving him in car mode for a reason, because I want to show you how they fit in car mode. And smokescreen here is going to be the guinea pig where I show you actually on camera how to attach these hands because it really is very simple. And everything is provided for you in the kit, which is really nice. Really nice. Uh, fan styles, fairly new to this, so, you know, we're giving this a go. And I will say, I've had these hands with me for a week now. I've been having a lot of fun with uh, Prowl doing some really, really fun stuff that because you can get, like, some really emotive things just from the hands. You see on the back it shows you the installation instructions. Basically you remove the two screws which are right here in the arms, which I'll show you later. And it pops out the old hand and then you just pop in the new hand and close it up. <clears throat> Alright. So there you go. These are really cool. The packaging on them. You know, each one has a different one of the Dotsons. You see here, smoke screen. It's blue streak on that one and prowl on that one. All right. Now these can be bought individually, or you can buy them as a set for all three. And if you're getting them, you're gonna want to get all three. Um, I will be putting a link down below to the Lunar Toy Store, so you you will be able to get them from there. So there you go. Um, I'm going to get these other guys out of here. We're going to focus on Prowl for a little bit. And we're going to show you everything about these hands. Because they are just simply fantastic. Alright? Be right back. Alright, and as I said, we're going to focus on Prowl here for a little bit. Since I already have the hands installed on him. And basically, as you can see here. hope it's not too washed out with the... Uh, white so I put a darker background in there for you guys um, all his joints are the same as in my hand here you got the joint here and do all this movement you got this knuckle and this knuckle you got this joint here and all these so you can spread them out put them together spread them out move them all around individually and then you've got these two knuckles in each finger so well, you know, that's really cool. Now, I will say, and I'm going to get this out of the way real quick. The one thing I noticed when I first put these hands on is at first they looked a little too big for him. Just slightly too big for him. But after having them on him, the, 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 like the next day, I looked at him and they didn't look that like that anymore. They, they looked like they, they'd always been there. They're supposed to be in proportion to what your human hand would be compared to your arm so that's kind of the dimensions they went with and it works it really does and you can see here I'm just messing around with these you know showing off how articulated they are you got all these joints here and all this cool stuff you could do with these fingers really nice really cool you know Prowl's a logical one, so, you know. Obviously, he'd be a fan of Star Trek. So, you know. He says, live long and prosper. <laughs> and he really likes to give thumbs up for these hands. He's, he's giving them his approval. Thumbs up. Yeah, right? Right, there you go. 
What do you give thumbs down to? Decepticons? Thumbs down. Look at that. You don't like Decepticons. They stink. <laughs> so, I, I really like these. And they're, they're made of a really good material. I mean, the plastic on this is fantastic. The actual palm part is made of a nice, stiff, tough plastic. But the fingers are made of a more flexible type of plastic so that, you know, it allows for a fluid movement when you move them. I mean, you can see how effortlessly I'm moving these fingers. It's just really, really well done. I think he can give, you know, a salute. Salute to our veterans. Can even do a two-fingered salute. See, two fingers. He can go. He can go. Everything is a okay. Okay. <laughs> and as you see here, with these new hands. Prowl can seriously rock out some power chords on this electric guitar I made out of Legos. Don't judge me. He also said, anyone requests instruments of destruction, he's leaving the stage. You all should get that reference if you're Transformers fans. I, I highly recommend these if you really want to add some articulation and life to these masterpiece figures. These are great. They're just simply fantastic. Now I've heard, I don't, um, the, the guy who sent them to me from Lunar Toy Store, he said you can actually fit these hands on Masterpiece Rodimus as well. I'm going to try and get a picture. If I do get a picture, it'll go in somewhere around here. See if, if he has, he said he took pictures of it, so I'm going to see if I can get a picture from him. Alright. So, I mean, there you, I mean, these things are just fantastic. The amount of articulation you have. Alright. Alright, let's get Prowl out of here. We're going to bring in Blue Streak for a minute. Alright, it's Blue Streak's turn to be in the spotlight. Now, on Blue Streak, now this, this, I actually, this was lent to me from my good friend Aaron from my turbo reviews you guys need to check out his channel I'll put a link to his channel below as well as well as Lunar Toy Store and uh, check out his channel give the man a sub all right it's really cool that he just you know I said hey I need to borrow somebody's blue streak for this review and he shipped it off to me so I can borrow it for a couple days all right well, that's cool so as you see here he still has his old hands on the bottom which I've done on purpose. I left them on there on purpose. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Blue Streak and we're going to go from this to this. As you can see, the hands fold in there just perfectly and they fit just as the other ones did. So you're not sacrificing car mode for uh, these new hands. And they thought of everything with that. And you see, he still rolls real good with the hands in place so you know that is a nice touch let see I'll show you how, you how you need to fold these in here basically you fold the thumb across the bottom alright and then you fold the first knuckle the second knuckle and then at the third joint in the hand you just fold them all together so you get a nice block like the other one became and just put them together like you would before and put them in place as you see just peg them together push them down and there you go as you see no problem simple real simple okay there you go Give me a second and I will bring in uh, smoke screen and I'll show you how easy it is to install these hands. Be right back. 
Okay, now we have smoke screen in front of me. And you see he still has his old hands with the single joint there. No movable thumb, just that single joint. And his fingers bent. Now if you stretched his fingers out, they would be about the same length as the hands you were putting on. Just so you know. And this kit provides you with everything. You get a little screwdriver, and you get four brand new hardened screws to hold him into his arms. You can reuse the screws that come out of them. I have a tendency to use these because, you know, they just seem to work really well. They're perfectly matched for these ones. Alright. So, all you do, just open up the package. It's a nice, simple, just as if you're opening up a deluxe transformer. Now, just so you guys know, these are still prototypes on the hands. These are not the final versions. Um, the final versions are, these are really close to the final versions though, so what you're seeing is pretty much what you're going to get. Alright, so just take the hands out, here's the right hand, and here's the left hand. You want to get a little close up of these while I got them out. So you can see, nice details on them. Alright all the joints and everything and you see the little ball joint in there for the thumb smoke screen seems to move a little bit more fluid than prowls um, haven't tried blue streaks yet but I didn't have any problem moving his thumbs when I put him in car mode so there you go um, yeah but as you can see very nicely done very nicely done you see it's just this is the only part that you're, you're switching out. Alright. So we're going to come up the blue smoke screen's arm here. We've got the screws here. We just take these out. Alright. Use the screwdriver they provide you. Just unscrew them. Yeah, my hands are too big for this screwdriver, but you know. I have man hands. We take those out. Just take his arm in half. See? Simple as that. As you can see, there's his old hand out of the way. There's the new hand. And the color is almost a perfect match. The new hands are a little, tiny bit darker, but not so much. They actually match closer the blue on his bumper than the blue on his hands so there you go they work and you just slide it in spot there see take the cover put it back all right and you can just dump out the screws that are provided put one in I'll get it started and put the other one in. Get it started. Tighten them down. And voila. Smokescreen now has the fully articulated hand, just like the other two. Turn out the wrist here so we don't give him a gorilla arm. Just like that. Old hand, new hand. Simple, right? It's just as simple as that, folks. I don't know what more you want. These are really simple to use really easy to install so if you can unscrew like a, a, an eyeglass screw or something you can do this Very, really really simple be right back so yeah these these hands really enhance these these dots and guys they really do um, especially for the price these these are really you know you have to go to Lunar Toy Stores link and, and see how much these are going for. You would be amazed. 
I'm not going to give it away how much it is here. I want you to go to their website and see it. That's why I'm providing a link below so you can go to the website and see what he's selling them for yourself. Now, one question everyone's probably asking is, Dark Devious, can he still hold their guns? Well, the answer is yes. If you see inside here, I'll zoom in, you can see they molded in the part for the peg. Gun still fits. You can wrap the fingers around it the way you want. Helps to get the fingers started first. But, you know, smoke screen. Come on, cooperate with me. Give me a second here, because I've always had problems with smoke screen holding his gun. He actually holds it better with these hands than he did with his Takara hands. So you can put that finger forward a little bit, make it look like he's getting ready to pull a trigger, and put the thumb here. And there you go. Yes, he can still hold his gun. Sorry about that. There you go. So yeah, they can all still hold their guns. Simple as that. He can also reach up and fire his missiles if he wants to. I'd say he could scratch his head, but I don't think his arm will articulate him enough. Scratch, maybe. Maybe. Can he do it? No. No, his gun's getting away. If his guns weren't there, he could scratch his head. Prowl could scratch his head. Prowl could do a face palm, too. <laughs> Should I bring in Prowl to do a face palm? Perhaps. Perhaps not. So, yeah. Bring these guys in here. Can you do a face palm prowl? Can you? Let's see. He can do a face palm. Oy vey. Why? It's it's things like that that make these hands fantastic. They did just they're just the way. Like if anybody who's doing stop motion with these guys. These will enhance you right away. I mean, you, you could just do so much more with these hands to go along with the great articulation they already have. You know? Let's see if I can get them to shake. Can you guys shake? Shake hands. There they go. Look at that. They're shaking hands. All right, can we get a high five? Can we get a high five? Give me a high five, brother. Yeah, high five, because we're cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just, I ain't telling you, that, fantastic. Just fantastic. So there you go. I seriously, and you know, I've had some third-party add-ons that have been just horrible. I've had third-party add-ons that are good. Um, these rank among some of the best add-ons that I've had, just simple add-ons for figures. Because these just allow you to do so many cool things with these masterpiece figures now. These these are the this is their articulation they should have had in their fingers from the get-go. I'm hoping that fan style will will, you know, make hands for some of the other masterpiece figures. You know, I would love to see it for, you know, um, the Lamborghinis. That would be perfect. Um I'm bringing Blue Streak again in car mode there. So yeah. I highly recommend this. I just, what I need you guys to do, go below, click the link to Lunar Toy Store, tell them Darth Devious sent you, all right? Pre-order these hands. They'll be out soon. The final, final version should be out close to the end of the month, hopefully, as this is going up in June. 
And uh, there you go. Fan style. PH010203. Third party add on hands for your masterpiece Dotsons. Go get them, guys. Please. I, 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 I haven't steered anyone wrong yet. These are so well made. Go get them. Later.